Now's our chance! I guess, uh, you could go through that way, um, on your way back if you, uh, kind of get lost, but it's really not going to be the best one to go through, so. Yeah, this is one of the areas where light doors don't seem to open up on us until, uh, we're right in front of them, so... Yeah, well, I might as well uh, hit that one while I'm, uh, while I'm coming up here, so... Walking discharge. That is another one, I believe, uh, for, um, Bacchus. Uh, that's a weapon for him. Yeah. Welcome to start her. Uh, as thunder elemental to attacks, um, so really, um, there's no point in having, uh, the Vulcan Discharger on along with the Thunderbolt gear unless uh, um, enemies are really weak to thunder or you just want to go for raw power with them or, or what, so. I thought that there would be an enemy here that says, like, uh, intruder detected or something like that, so... Eventually, um, I'll have to come back through here, so... But... We have a couple of, uh, really good treasures to get, um... I think I'll start with the ones on the right side first. that break those point meta point repels, but because those are the things I really don't need, at least uh, right at the moment, so. Yeah, those guys are really bad. Um, you might have seen them in the tournament. Um, but, um... Usually, um, those guys, um, they'll, um, both attack you with, uh, like their, uh, hands and feet, um, they'll also be running ball, which, uh, they can use to, um, inflict massive damage on you. The other bad thing is that, uh, when they're riding their ball, um, 
I think the Rafiri gauge builds up, so... Or a rush gauge, but... Yeah, so... Even though the Dark Clowns kind of suck, um... I guess they are not the hardest to lose here. I wonder if uh, eventually I'm gonna start to get too much Mithril and have to throw some away. Uh, which is gonna kind of be bad because I don't really want to. Yeah, it, when they bring on their ball, um, if you're not uh, fully engaged with their uh, rust gauge, it's very a long bit. Um, they'll, they'll just uh, knock you down, so. Let's see. Uh, I was gonna say, don't tell me I'm on the back. Oh, memo number 10. I can't remember what that is offhand, but uh, if I remember to, um, I will uh, put it in the annotation. Um, or uh, down below in the description about uh, what it is, so. The one up here. Yep. This is the one with the uh, with the fake wall that we're gonna need the Earth Ring for. So. Dull Hand's armor. And I know the uh, Dull Hand is uh, for Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Um, but um, this armor here, um, this is really good for us to have. So. Um, it kind of absorbs um, darkness. Um, you might want to put it on a uh, like edge or something um, for the final battle because uh, the end boss um, he kind of uses more darkness attacks than uh, anything else, but. Um, Yeah, even with a negative eight, um, with auto healing, um, we uh, we should be able to actually survive it. Um, even if I don't put this on air mat and I go with uh, both critical hit and tech plus, uh, which I will eventually be getting here. He, he should be able to survive, so... He'll be able to survive on Fury, if anything else, so...
talk about our show and your girl. What do you think? Come on, tell me the truth. And so my bad karma gets Jeez. worse. Is this really okay? None of them mean to anything. Well, I mean, they, they did gain a level, but they didn't uh, gain any uh, new uh, actual abilities or anything. Eventually, we're gonna have to come back this way. On turning. Let's show these chumps a good time. I was just getting warmed up. Bring them on. All right. What do you think? Come on. Now, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Um, even though this uh, kind of looks uh, like a tractor beam, from, uh, Star Trek and stuff, and uh, even though when we uh, come up close to it, it doesn't say examine or anything like that um i believe that when we get the uh, darkness ring we can take this thing out so so we're gonna have to be uh, coming back here for at least one treasure um, well there's gonna be two of them so One on the right side here first. Then I'll uh, go get the ones at the center, so. What's this? I don't think that there's gonna need so many firing charges here. Just a red dragon, or two red dragon scales. Um, we're gonna be needing a couple of those things uh, later on when we get back to Kellen, so. I guess they could be worse. So. They, they could uh, totally broke my bonus for it. Uh, I love them, but. I figured I should uh, take one of these things on, so. Although I kind of wish that they were a little closer to actually getting to an ambush. 
Their beats are getting filled out. I think brevets are uh, something we can buy on the Kellens from uh, um, vending machine number two. No, there's uh, one truth that we can't get right here. But anyways, um, that is going to be a weapon that we're going to want to use in the final battle, so... The Holy Sword Farewell. Even though it's a uh, slightly less purple than the uh, weapon that we have, um, the adding light damage to um, attacks and stuff, um, this is probably going to be uh, our best bet versus the end boss because uh, the end boss is really weak to uh, light based attacks and absorbs uh, actually absorbs um, darkness attacks. So. treasures left here so not gonna be refilling the uh, darkness ring right now um, um, I don't think that the uh, I don't think that the uh, darkness ring is gonna be used again here kind of happy that I got into a, um... An ambush battle, but... Amateurs, throwing their lives away for nothing. I think uh, we have too many uh, pumpkin act tracks. Um, yeah. I think I'm doing okay with the monster action elixirs.
Anyways, um, that's another reason that we're gonna have to come back here is uh, we've gotta wait until we get the uh, water ring to uh, actually come in here and uh, open this uh, treasure chest up right here. So. Wanted to make sure that uh, I wasn't forgetting anything else in here. So it's uh, it's not too bad because I'll be coming back in here uh, later on anyway. So when I'm uh, doing game plus, so.